Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lutong Kuya Chef Ed. And today is a special episode because we have a special guest. Special guest because we have our first ever guest on the show. We have Mr. Paolo Lorenzana of Mafalda Mix. Woo! Thank you for having me. Hello! Super honored, of course. I am a new fan of Pao. My wife was bugging me all weekend. Check out his videos. He's so cool. So I go, oh, it's New York. Ah, yun ang una ko naisip eh, New York. Max naman. Diba? Diba? Very, diba? Yeah, may bisita so, lang ako. Oo. May bisita lang. <laughs> Wait, saan ko may bisita? Sa New York or here in the Philippines, Pao? So now, right now, I'm uh, I'm living in both parts because okay. uh, I just got married. My, okay. my husband is really based in Congratulations, New York. Congratulations, just got married. Yeah, actually, the way we met was through Tinder. He was visiting here. Oh! And then we ended up just sticking together for the next eight years. So, funny enough, his name is also so Paolo. Oh, Paolo? Yes. But hindi Pao and Pao yung ano, vlog mo. Pao, I will be asking you questions all throughout this episode because I'm very, very ano, excited to ask you about your life and what you do because first time mo magkaroon ng guest dito sa show eh. Pao, what are we cooking today? So today, I, I decided to choose gnocchi. Gnocchi! Because not too many people know that it's actually quite easy and you Super only easy. need very few ingredients. Yes. Gnocchi in Italian. Nox my trivia. Do you know what gnocchi means in Italian? No, tell us. I don't know. I'm going to invent it. No, joke. Lang. I know gnocchi means cloud. No, parang ganun. Very fluffy, very cloud like. So when you see, ano, yung mga pillows, parang pillow siya, gnocchi. So when you see gnocchi, yung, ano siya, it's really a potato based pasta. So it's part of the pasta family. So it's still flour and eggs, and you add mashed potatoes. So pag nakita niyo yung gnocchi, mo siyang malilit na unan na ganun. Diba? So you boil it, you can sear it after or saute it. So that's what a gnocchi is. Uh, it is quite heavy despite mm. it being cloud like, diba? Yes. But, you know, for a little for fun with the gnocchi, we'll fill it naman today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll fill it with, uh, with cheese. Oh, cheese? So it's even uh, you know, more flavorful, diba? So it's a cheese gnocchi. Guys, I am so excited. Should we get to the cooking part now? Yes. What is our first step, Pao? Okay, so to serve maybe two, three people, I think two medium potatoes. Two medium potatoes. Will be good. We already pre roasted these ones here. Mm-hmm. So we put the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then we prick these, pop it in for an hour. For and an hour. Then, uh, ah, for an hour? Yeah. Para lumambut talaga. Yeah, para malambut talaga. And then um, we gotta give it time to cool. So ito at least nagkukul na siya kanina pa. Nagkukul na. Uh-huh. I, I have a tip for mga home cooks out there, no? If you do not have an oven, you, you can still make gnocchi. You can boil the potatoes and then take out the water from your pot, put the potatoes back in, and try to dry it as much as possible. It's like pot roasting your potatoes. Ang important thing kasi about gnocchi, you want all of the moisture to evaporate. Wala talagang water to make it a very nice and fluffy pasta. Ito, ito na yung finished product. Uh, and then we just have to peel it. Do you Ma- have a, a more efficient na. way of peeling this or okay naman yung ginagawa natin? Yeah, I, I have a more efficient way of peeling potatoes. It's called, ano, having kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> you give them to your kids. Oh, balatan nyo muna to. Saya, I'll give you a price after. No, but Paolo, ano, as your vlog or um, always been centered around, you know, having a perspective on the LGBTQ uh, plus community and even your cooking. Because I know, I've seen your vlog. Maganda yung mga niluluto mo rin doon eh, from time to time. But I know it's not cooking-centric. Diba? No, or, I like to have fun with uh, primarily to get a laugh out of cooking. Uh-uh. I don't take cooking seriously at all. I have no delusions that I'm a professional chef or anything like that. But for me, kasi cooking should be fun, diba? Yeah. And where do I get fun? From looking through, you know, celebrity news, Hollywood news, yeah. all, and all of that. Lahat ng kabaklaan. <laughs> Lahat ng kabaklaan. For lack of a better term. And so, actually, the name Mafalda. It's from my favorite Timothée Chalamet movie, Call oh. Me By Your Name. And yung, ah. yung character dun, minor lang yung role niya, pero siya yung parang pinaka-mayortoma ng household kung saan na-inlove si Timmy si T- Chalamet si sa visiting uh, male student. And, okay. the, and the Meyer Doma just basically witnesses their love evolve while nourishing him with food. Tapos siya si Mafalda. Siya si Mafalda. Uh, the, the women who have like heirloom recipes na, that 
are passed down through generations. Mga ganyan. And I, I love that perspective nga, no? yung sa kakumukuha ng kasiyahan, mga showbiz, oh, mga oh. celebrity. I, I'm also very happy to let our viewers know that Pao is our first guest for June. And June is Pride Month, di ba? Happy so, Pride! Happy yes, Pride, guys. absolutely. You know, so I'm, I'm very happy to have someone who is really ingrained in the community. Do you know your voice already in the community? You know how to broadcast and amplify. Are you one of those people who wants to really help expand the community through your videos? through your vlog, through your cooking even? I mean, you can, you try to do what you can to point a spotlight to different types of LGBT communities. I mean, there's only so much you can do. All I can do is share my story and yeah. hopefully someone who is gay, growing up gay, na in a very uh, forbidding household, mm. a medyo very strict household, mm. that they're inspired to be their true selves. Yun lang naman yung, yung magagawa ko. And to tell other people that you meet as many different kinds of LGBT people as you can because Correct. we are all so different. Oh guys, tapos na kami magbalat ng aming potatoes. The next step is to, if I'm not mistaken, is to rice the yes. potatoes. Yes. Yeah. A ricer uh, is a very, very important tool if you love making mashed potatoes. So we're just gonna mash our potatoes using our ricer. So sige. I, uh, and try to do this. Sure. Wow, since you mentioned nga, there, there is still a lot of um, points in our society na we need acceptance, we need understanding. Has there been any form of discrimination throughout your career, both in your uh, vlogging life and, you know, just your day-to-day -day life? I mean, I experienced something a little recent mm. um, that I didn't think was still possible in 2023. Okay. okay? Uh -oh. So, and it's related to being in, in the food scene here mm. in the Philippines, but uh, like uh, last year, I was approached by a restaurant chain, no? Oh, okay. Uh, a very popular one. And, but it's uh, a being too. Yeah. The point is that uh, they, uh, someone young in their team had approached me initially to do uh, parang a nice a endorsement a of some sort. Or yeah. A, yeah, an endorsement. So to oh. eat at the restaurant, show okay. that you're enjoying it. And then, so na shoot na yun at lahat. Oh, oh. Tapos sa, sa huli nun, biglang, uh, some weeks passed na wala akong feedback from the team. Pero na-shoot na? Na-shoot na at lahat. Na okay. Ready for posting na uh -oh. and everything. And then what I found out from an, from someone I knew in the team is that a higher up, siguro someone older, someone oh, no. a little more conservative, decided na, but hindi to dinaan sa akin? Oh, because oh. we don't want to show uh, this person who clearly is very proud of, of his same-sex relationship. So for them, it was an image thing. Yeah, like this is oh, a quote-unquote, you know, a, a family brand or whatever. Oh, as as if naman there aren't also queer families, diba? Right? Yeah, so, that's tough to hear. I'm sorry to hear that, Pao. You know, um, ako nga, it's more about ano eh, right now in this day and age, it's about not riding on the trend because may mga iba nagta-trend jack na lang eh. Pride Month, kahit walang kinalaman yung brand nila or ano, biglang magpa-pride whatever tayo. Huwag naman ganun. Always support all year round. Hindi pwede pag June exactly, lang. Exactly, diba? diba? Ang hirap nung ganun. Tapos you had to go through that. This was here in the Philippines. This was here in the Philippines. Oh, man. And it's a beloved restaurant chain. Oh, man. Sabihin na natin, breakfast chain. Ah, man. Uh, okay, chef. So, I think we have mashed potatoes yes. and we can mix everything else in. Okay, what are the next steps? I'll be your assistant today, Pao. Eggs na ba? Flour? Ano uh, next? We can put some salt in. Uh, salt pala muna. Uh, a teaspoon ano? is fine or you is fine. eyeball muna lang. Uh, I'll eyeball it. You want your, ano, your gnocchi fairly seasoned but not too much salt because it might extract too much excess liquid again. Potatoes are sponges. no? So even if, you, if we dry roasted it in an oven, Nila, ano eh, meron pa rin yung tubig sa loob eh. So not too much salt, just maybe around half a teaspoon, that's enough muna. You can season your sauce anyway later. So yan. I like to add a little more flavor. So nag-onion powder ako. Onion powder, But okay. we can skip that because we've... No, it's okay. Salt is good. Onion powder. Mm. 
You know, um, potato starch is the secret uh, weapon of a lot of Chinese restaurants in Manila. Uh, they use that as coating. Uh, it's lighter, it's fluffier also. So that will add a bit of fluff to our yes. uh, gnocchi. How much do you think we need, Chef? Just a little bit, because we're still adding ane, uh, flour, all-purpose flour. Maybe this is half a teaspoon. Maybe a teaspoon. So half, then another one. Just to bind everything together. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, our flour. And we are using type 00 flour. This is usually pasta flour. No, uh, Italian flour more than anything. They use it in pasta, in pizza, itong type 00. You can get it in specialty stores here in Manila. Ayan, quarter cup of flour. Again, it's just like pasta. We're putting together a couple of starches, potato, flour, potato flour also, and then our eggs later to make a nice, light, fluffy batter. You think we should add some pepper to this? Para, sure! Yeah. Sige, some pepper. Some more. Let's crack some pepper. If you have white pepper at home, you can also put white pepper. Para maganda pa rin yung kulay ng, ano mo, ng gnocchi mo. What's but the black difference with white pepper? For me, cooking, there is a certain ano, astringency to white pepper. Meaning, it's more fragrant. Mm. Mas mabango. Kasi black pepper, kumbaga sa coffee, dark roast na yan eh. Okay. Diba? So white pepper is a little bit more... Fra ano, fragrant and also if you're cooking something light it's better to put white pepper para hindi magkaroon ng black specks yung niluluto mo okay ayun so there yes and then I think final na natin is the egg the egg okay how many eggs do you I need? I think for this is one no? just one okay so there uh, the best way is to crack your eggs on a flat surface yeah. so tamang ginawa ni Pao so that you don't get any shells inside your you know, dish there yeah, we no? go walang shell so that's your gnocchi guys Exciting! Yeah. We added some excess moisture, which is the eggs, no? So you just want the flour to absorb everything. Perfect. Yeah. Diba? It's, it's a better ball, no? As a yeah. Dough. Yeah, na siya. And then, next is, we'll start forming the gnocchi, tama? Yeah. So we have to dust our board. When you dust boards, no? Yung mga chopping board nyo, make sure it's clean. And then, you dust it from the side. Why? Because you just want a very thin layer of flour on your on your chopping board. Ayaw mo mag-sprinkle ng ganyan kasi it will clump together. So ganyan, magkakalat ka talaga. Diba? You want it from the side. Yeah. Then we can start rolling our gnocchi So let dough. me plop this over there. Sure. If you feel it's too wet sa hands nyo, just you can add more starch, just add more flour. Okay, there, there we go. go. Yan. Then you just want to roll it nicely. There, nice and fluffy. There you go. How you big can, should we roll it, chef? Like uh, an inch, kanya. We can, uh, no, we can actually cut the dough. Okay. First, para it's more manageable. Yeah. You don't have to uh, roll the whole thing. So, yeah, no, you can start doing that. Yeah. Pagka medyo you're getting to a nice oblong shape, you can split it again. There, kasi panipis yung panipis eh. diba? That's your goal for your ano, for your gnocchi. Get them into nice one-inch shapes. So there. So far, so good. Yeah. Am I ano, doing your recipe right? Definitely. Naya ako eh, baka mamaya. Yeah. It's been years since I last did gnocchi. <laughs> so I, all I know is you just have to do this with gnocchi. Yeah. Get it as elongated as possible. We love an elongated shape here. Yeah. Again, make it as workable as possible. It's like a small pillow, eh? mga one inch in size. Yeah. Yeah. That's this looks really, uh, no, soft and and uh, no, fluffy. Pillowy. Diba? Oh, diba? Then you start chopping your gnocchi. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you make it. That's your gnocchi. They look like small pillows now. They do. Na. And this is basically pasta. So imagine yeah. you made your own pasta at home. You made your own pasta. You can dust it a little bit more, para hindi siya magdikit uh -uh. dikit There, just sprinkle flour. Diba? Then just toss it very lightly. Some some ano, gnocchis, depende sa anong region ka sa Italy eh. You use a fork to roll and make rivets around it. Talagang papagulungin mo. What Chef, did I do? did bring like that thing with ridges. Oh, I mean, if you wanna get serious, pwede oh, mong dalhin yan. Pwede mong bilhin sa Lazada. Tama nga na yung sinabi ni Chef. If you don't you have anything fork, on eh. that, a yung fork ganyan lang, oh. is fine. You make it roll with your fork. Exactly. Yan, oh, para magkaroon ng ridges. Kasi, why do you put ridges? Para kumapit yung sauce. But look, oh, meron na tayong nice gnocchi. So, I wanna try filling it naman. We're gonna put cheese in it. So, what I did was, nag-slice na ako from here. You can okay. get something the size of a jackstone. And then um, you can flatten it. If I'm not mistaken, this is 
by scent and sight is stalejo cheese no tama kala nyo ang galing ko binasa ko lang package ko <laughs> yeah so we'll yeah. get about the size of a, a chiclet uh, uh, yeah. uh, then I'll just stuff it in. And then we, we fold it. Siguro fold it. Fold it there. Yeah. Like and that. then the like so. seams. Niya. And then seal the seams. Yeah. And, and then, then we can roll it. Round roll it out. Yeah. Just no, gently boy. lang para hindi lumabas yung cheese. There. Then we want to put ano, the ridges on it. Ang galing. Oh. Oh, my ridges na siya. Oh, diba? Diba? Galing. What are the events or activities that you've been meaning to uh, check out here in the metro? Well, you know, for Pride Month, of course, there's going to be a Pride March. And I think it's so important for people to, whether you're LGBT, whether you're an ally, whether you're curious, to uh -oh. just head over to the Pride March, show your support, learn more about our issues as a community, how you can get the word out. You know, it's really what unifies us all is the is this big event every year. Meron ba this Pride year? March. Parang every year may nakita sa Twitter means may nagaaway na organizers or ano or meron naman maayos na. I think uh, yung away lang naman dahil nakaka-stress gumawa ng ganyang event. I'm sure eh. it's a huge event, uh, man. But for the people who attend, I think it's Super fun. Nothing compares to being in that kind of unifying environment. There's my mga performances. Yeah. It, it's one big party. And the one point of pride primarily is to celebrate, di ba? Tama. To celebrate being exactly who you are without any, you know, hindrances, di ba? So, yun, yun. And then at secondary would be to learn about what else we need to do as a community to get the equality we deserve, diba? So, if you want to learn more about the LGBT community, attend the Pride March. But you know what? Yes. I'm super excited to see so many events around the metro in restaurants, uh, in bakeries. That bakeries? Are, yeah! That are drag brunches. Oh, I mean, drag brunch! Familiar ka ba, Chef? Yes, I've, I've heard of them, but I've never attended one. My wife wants to attend one. Ano nangyari sa mga drag brunch? So, of course, drag queens are so entertaining. So there's show. comedy, oh, my there's performance. comedy, my cantahan. Okay. And what can be better than stuffing yourself with carbs and having a good laugh, di ba? Oo, saan to? Saan sa Manila ang meron na, ano? Lalo na yung bakery. Oo, so yung bakery na alam ko is Butter Boy. I've had their croissants. They're really good. Their pastries. Ang sarap ha. Napa-order ako. So sila, meron sila sa ano nila, bakery nila. Uh -oh. And then I think may nakita akong drag event din sa Janetto Pizzeria. Janetto? Neto Pizzeria? Where, where are they located? I think that's also in Quezon City. It's, it's so nice to see people enjoying themselves with the LGBT community na past Pride, di ba? Hindi lang sa Pride Month, hindi lang sa June yung ganyang mga yeah. events, di ba? Okay, now we are going to boil our gnocchi. Dito na ako. Palit okay. kami ni Pao. Pao uh, will start preparing the sauce. Yeah. Ayan. Boiling water lang ang kailangan ko. And then, like any pasta, just salt it like ano, the sea. The sea, you know? Parang ano lang, um, be very generous with your salt to flavor it. Kaya kanina hindi ako takot na konti lang yung nilagay natin na salt in our pasta because we're still going to salt the water. We'll start with the big ones. Our nice gnocchi. Put them into our pot of boiling water. We just want the flour and the eggs to, ano, to really settle and form. Pa, what are you doing over there? Ano yung sauce natin? So, really simple uh, tomato and garlic. Tomato and, and garlic. No need to add anything else, just the halved tomatoes. We're okay. gonna blister them here, meaning we're going to just fry them up until they become pulpy. Nice! Make sure that your dough is cooked all the way through. It also adds to the fluffiness of it. Pagka nag-float na siya, we put them straight in a bowl with olive oil, just so that it coats the gnocchi. Here you go. Meron tayong extra virgin olive oil from New York. Tada wang medyo social na ano ngayon na olive oil. Just a little bit. Extra virgin olive oil is really used for perfuming and for ano um, flavoring, not for cooking. So you just want to coat the bottom of your pan. Nagpo float na siya, guys. Ayan, no? Kunti unti na siya nagpo float. With any fresh pasta, as long as they start floating, luto na yan. You don't want to overdo it, kasi siyempre, di ba? Um, lalo na for yung mga dried pasta, you want it al dente. For fresh pasta, as long as they're floating, you know they are good to go. 
And they are floating already. Sandukin na natin. Make sure they are oh super God. dry. They're alive. They're alive. Kamusta naman? Tama naman yung nagawa natin yung Kate. Sa okay. sakto sa na envision mo pa oh. Oo. Yeah. Hindi siya sumabog kasi 'di ba filled siya. Akala oh. ko mamaya yung cheese mag-ooze out eh. Pero mag hindi. Tama yung ginawa natin. Just toss them in the olive oil. This is when you make pasta hear that ASMR. Asmer. It's a <laughs> ano raw, the sound of love. Nakakoat na siya. Anong next step natin pa for the sauce? So for the sauce, as I said, like a simple garlic tomato. Uh, okay. I think maybe what do you think butter or oil for this? Let's a do a more... bit of butter and a little a bit of oil. Okay. Ayan, I'll start heating up the pan. Pao, ano, ano experience mo with cooking? Did you attend any culinary school? Did you did you watch through ano? Did you learn through YouTube University? Ano, ano talaga ang ano, yung pinaka skill set mo when so it comes to cooking? So definitely YouTube University Masters. Masters, uh, my M A Sha. Uh, uh, yung grade school, high school ko, tsaka college sa mga ano, sa mga cooks namin sa bahay. Sa mga cooks. Okay. Uh, and, and my family, everybody loves to cook. Okay. That's yeah. nice to know. A cooking family is always fun. Yeah. yeah. So, that's uh, my first experience was with my sisters. They make pizza at home. And uh, I knew I loved Italian food as soon as I tasted my first handful of mozzarella cheese. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start making the sauce. Pero before you start making the sauce, I want to put a nice sear on our gnocchi. Brown it a little bit. The best way to brown any ingredient in the world is to use butter. Kasi butter has milk solids. Ang milk solids ang tutulong mag-brown ng ating food. Diba? So there, a nice sear. Uh, medium high heat. Then we add our gnocchi. I'm using a spoon so that it's easier for me to start flipping them. When you say you want to brown something, don't keep on tossing it. Diba? You want color on one side first. Diba? Yeah. So you just want color. So you just want it to brown all over. Just leave it. Kita beautiful. Ba? Yeah, beautiful. Diba? That's a nice seared gnocchi. Diba? It's just patience. Kaya spoon lang ginagamit ko eh. Then after that, we can actually put this on the side. Then we can start making the sauce. What we want to do is we want lightly saute some of the garlic. Yes. Yeah. So the garlic goes in there. What we can do is we can add a little bit of olive oil okay. with our butter so that you lower the smoke point of the butter. Kasi nasunog ang butter eh. Oil doesn't eh. So, yeah, a little bit of the olive oil. So you combine the fats. Ayan, we can smell it na. Diba? Bango, in garlic. Making it nice and fragrant. Then now, dahil nagkaroon ka na ng color sa gnocchi mo, you can start tossing it. And now you're making a nice fragrant olive oil with garlic. So parang garlic oil siya. Ganda oh. Then we start blistering the tomatoes. Blistering meaning, ano lang yan. Again, same same procedure. You don't want it move all around. You're not sauteing anything. You're just browning it also. When is the best time to salt it? Pag ganyan? Now? Ah, uh, ako, like... ano? I, I salt in several stages kasi. So right now, it's okay. It's fine. It will also help extract the liquids from your tomato. Yeah. Diba? And then, pag labas ng liquids, it will help steam, evaporate, and then give a nice blistering. Do you pepper your sauce? I do like pepper, mm. but uh, as long as it's salted properly, I'm fine. You're fine. Pepper. Pwede natin add yung pepper later yeah. na eh. Diba? There. Then, as with any pasta, you can do it with love. You just saute. There we go. Diba? You just toss it. Ang bango na. Tomatoes and garlic lang yan. Lahat ang ibang nilagay. Kunting pasta water because it will emulsify with the oil. Meron na tong seasoning. May kunting starch na. May kunting salt, pasta water. That's a starchy water already. So, magkakaroon ka ng kunting kunting sauce. But as is, the butter and the olive oil is already perfect. Pero, nagkaroon ka na ng kunting sauce. Chef, yung pasta flip mong yan, pinractice ba yan? Or naturally, through culinary school lang? <laughs> nung bata ako, ano man yung pinakamagandang pampractice at home? Bigas. Lagay kayo ng bigas, then keep on tossing it para makuha mo yan. Ano ba yung movement? Front or may konting... May ano, from front the... to, you know, flip, ganyan. <laughs> front to up. Yan. Now we start plating. Si Pao will, will actually finish our dish. Yes. Ah, that looks really good. Diba? You browned the butter, the garlic is ano. It's not crispy, but it's a bit on the brown side para to give it more. Talagang golden brown eh, no? Golden brown. Iyan yung habol mo lagi when you do anything. 
GBD, golden brown and delicious. That's the code. Okay, we will finish our dish. Just a little bit of black pepper. Not too much. Yeah, pitik pitik lang. There. And then? And a little more color, o, diba? Kasi pride, diba? Pride. Lagyan pa natin ang kulay. <laughs> and most of Italian food really uses the colors of their flag. Red, white, green. Ayan, no? Red and green. That's your dish, We bro. did it, chef. We did it. And uh, I think the most important part, we have to try it. Yes, it's right? our Tiki Man time, guys. We are going to start trying our gnocchi. What's the name of your dish? Anong gnocchi to? Uh, this is, of course, the fried gnocchi or fried gnocchi. Fried ah! gnocchi. <laughs> I'm sorry. We tika dun. Sorry, we tika sorry dun. na. Uh, okay, butter fried gnocchi. Diba? Now, Pao, since you are our guest. So no. you never ask. It's ganda ng texture. Slice it. How's the cheese? It's, it's in there. Ooh, it's yeah. in there. It's in oh, there. Diba? Try ko. Oh, how is it? Mm. Ganda ng ano. Ooh, ganda ng browning. Ooh. Yan. Siyempre, tinuhog ko na kasi gusto ko perfect bite with the basil and the blistered tomatoes. Ang sarap. Mmm. Ang top nito. Ito lang po. No? Ano masasabi mo, Pao? Ubusin na natin. Successful siya. Um, guys, I would really want to thank Pao for guesting today. Paolo Lorenzana, our Pride Month guest uh, for Lutong Kuya Chef. And palakpakan naman natin. May thank audience you. eh, no? Thank you. Yan. Uh -uh. Yan. Guys, please do not forget to click like and subscribe no, to Kumusta Media. And of course, follow also, Pao Pao, promote mo naman social media channels mo. Yeah, if, I mean, if you want more cooking content with a, a bit of a laugh, uh, follow at mafalda.mix on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I also am about to launch a YouTube where Ooh. I track my journey moving from Manila to New York in the next year. Mafalda Mix on YouTube. Saya non. Happy Pride, Chef! Happy Pride, everyone! Happy Pride! Let's eat! So, yun na, guys! Okay, everyone, this is Chef Edward saying bye! Bye! Sorry, na umas. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang, okay na.